wanted to bring up this video game, Baldur's Gate 3. It's not just any video game. It's Baldur's Gate 3. It's no Diablo 3. I haven't played either. Played the earlier iterations, but I haven't played Diablo 3. So there's allegedly, reportedly, um, a quest you can go on the game, in the game, and I'm going to sound, to some people, nerdy, some people out of touch when I read this. And it says, Dame Aelin, a member of the Angelic Asimar race, who has been imprisoned by the villainous Sword Coast cult leader, Kateric Thorn, Thorm. So basically, you go on this um, this quest, and you're this girl, right? You go on this quest, and you're this, fe- this badass female warrior, right here. And eventually, you go on, and you have a lesbian love interest with this, I guess, other girl which like girl here and again she's kind of bird looking right a little bit bird looking so in any event this is the quest in the game it's a lesbian side quest of course um put a chick in it make it lame and gay is what they had to do with a game that's going to be 99.5 percent played by men of course and they had to do it and i guess on on one hand they probably say whoa they'll probably like it because it's chick on chick man and uh, on the other hand, they probably say, well, you got to put a girl in it, make it fit, make it lame and gay. Right. But what ended up happening is is somebody released a mod for it called the no alphabets mod. <laughs> um, and here's what it did. It changed them to it changed the warrior that we saw there into a guy. So because this is in medieval times, So the argument for this is instead of putting a chicken and making a gay, just do it how it's supposed to be in the times. There wouldn't have been this female warrior. She wouldn't have been a lesbian if even in the case. So let's make it this guy who ends up saving a girl and um, they, they gender swap the characters right now. You might not like that. I mean, I'm not sure it's entirely necessary, but if if you love a game like this and they just start injecting identity politics into it, then maybe, yeah, you probably want to do this. Like if you could just go in and delete the female FIFA players from the game and it'll make your game run faster, you'd probably do that. So if you're playing um, a game and they do this, you might do it. You might do it. If this wasn't the original story. And this wasn't how it is. I mean, it's in medieval times. It wouldn't make sense. Nobody would play it anyways. But if this was in the, mini- the the original story, then I I guess people would do that, would be okay with it. But you're talking about medieval times, the third re- iteration of a game. And, you know, nobody would actually buy it. Nobody would have played it if you're playing as a lesbian woman. Like, it doesn't make any, like, in medieval times. So it says the No Alphabets mod pack ensures that gender and sexuality of the world's NPCs match medieval status quo. It leverages the power of voice AI to alter Aelin, two quest related and 13 minor NPCs. Where relevant, everything related to an NPC's identity has been altered. Appearance, voice, sound effects, subtitles. Nearly 700 lines have been changed. And you look at the responses and people like it, okay? Um... If I ever play this game for real, I'll be using this. I'll take notes. Perfect. I just finished it. Um, thanks. If I can remember a portion, blah, blah, blah. I fought seven, 27 things in the game for you. Thanks. I'll fix that. He responds, I think. So people liked it, right? But there's also people, of course, who didn't like it. And this is all what I got from the chronology of this is that on the Reddit, people started complaining about it just so everyone's aware It's not some just random harmless mod that changes the gender for the fun of it. It's part of a mod pack called the No Alphabet Mod, which aims to remove every single queer character and every single reference to any queer identity from the game. And it's also working on removing people of color from the game. So obviously it's not a racist person. It's not a transphobic person per se. It's they're making it realistic. Just like there wasn't any transgender people in the medieval times that were uh, fierce warriors. There probably weren't any black people in, you know, 11th century England who were, you know, fighting on behalf of the king, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And and they just say this thing: they which to aim to remove every single queer character from the game. Yes, exactly. Yes, just like if you were to put, you know, um, like I said. Choose any genre. If the, something doesn't belong there that and it doesn't make sense, yes, you're aiming to remove it. They just want to make it so like uh life or death situation as they always do, and they just want to make it like uh 
a, a genocidal thing that they'll use this language. And the website that it was hosted on called Nexus Mods actually went and banned it. And the reason they gave here was absolutely insane. So this goes to show you that you really, in 2023, you really got to pick and choose who you're giving your money to and who you're supporting. I don't know anything about modding, so don't ask me, okay? This appears to be a throwaway account created to upload a mod that attempts to skirt our community guidelines. The mod in question appears to reduce diversity in Baldur's Gate 3 by taking out a same-sex couple and swapping the gender of one of the partners to make them heterosexual. We are for inclusivity. We are for diversity. If we think someone is uploading a mod on our site with the intent to deliberately be against inclusivity and diversity, then we will take actions against it. Same goes for trolls. And they go on to say, it's our business. We can do what we want. And this is true. But imagine telling somebody that you banned some, seriously thinking about this, that you banned somebody because they tried to reduce diversity. Think about what you're standing for there. You try to reduce burgers with onions on them. You try to eliminate cats that were orange. Sorry, Max, the cat that I know and love. These are the things you're defending. You sound absolutely insane when you say, how dare you be against it? Turn it up, Jordan.